So, good morning. My name is Michael. I am um, working as a consultant and trainer at Horusnet in Germany. And um, I was running the code waters of Wi Fi in 2007. So, in the old days, I was a child, right? Um, and that's the reason why I do this talk, because I have no idea what I've come across. And perhaps you can talk me, uh, tell me what you're seeing here, because I don't understand it. Um, so, what I have for you. First, I'll do a little introduction um, about what I came across a few days ago. So it's a very um, um, yeah, instant thing here. The gear was used, requirements was um, set up, and then there was a protocol of measurements I get into my hands. So, um, yeah, have a look at it, what what's all about, what I found out. So when you're getting a report, and that's what I got last week, uh, a report from a some kind of vendor or whatever, um, and you're expecting something like this, right? You use, you're knowing the tools. There are several tools you can uh, do site surveys or designs with, and they all produce the same kind of report, kind of, and you're used to a certain quality or, or content, a, at least. Um, and so do I. But this one was a special one. Um, it was a report about warehouse, Wi-Fi, new installation, AC, dual radio, whatever Wi-Fi, um, with voice support, mainly for hand, sc hand scanners and voice. So I checked this report for, for some reasons, and um, I came across, okay, no heat maps. Hmm. Strange, just flew over it a little bit uh, too fast, perhaps, in the first place. Copyright 2003, somewhere at the bottom. So, hmm, okay, perhaps I should update their, their, their word document some, some time. 22 megahertz uh, channel width. Okay, <laughs> coming closer. Direct spec sequence, uh, specs DSSS, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, 11B, mm, mm, mm. why should you do that? H, FHSS, what the hell? So, 2007, right? This is my starting point. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, René. <laughs> Um, and then there was a tool called Dyke 11, Dyke 24. So, okay, never heard about that. When you're looking on the internet for that, it's very hard to find something more more detailed. And um, yeah, somewhere in place uh, in the document, there was these, um, the equipment which was used. Something like that. Symbol AP 3021, PDT. 3100. I've never seen that before. When did you do it? I've I never did it. No, I mean, when did you see the report? Last week, and it was done uh, two weeks ago. Right? So it's an actual project I have to deal with. Some kind of. Uh, but <laughs> I'm not responsible for that. Um, okay, so it's Spectrum 24. I, I heard about that before, but it's very, very old. So pre dot 11. Right? Um, so, requirements, well, what was the procedure of, of doing that as it was stated in the report? Because I have no inf more information, I cannot talk to the people. Um, there was done an active survey with the DIAG tool. They have different um, positions measured throughout the um, um, facility. And at each position, they do 100 ICMP ping tests, which has a um, size of 100 bytes each, zero milliseconds delay, 500 milliseconds timeout values. I assume you can configure that in the Stike tool, I don't know. And then they were proposed some requirements. <laughs> it would be good if the timeout of 500 milliseconds has never reached, and the round-trip time for these 100 ICMP pings is less than 9.3 seconds. And it's not so good, but acceptable. It's the same, but 9.5 seconds. We were talking about voice. 
and we're talking about modern dual radio 5 gig deployments, right? Like you're doing it in our days. Okay, but yeah, strange things. Looking forward to the document. Um, table of this is the actual site survey reports so the data they get on and verify their work. So you can see they have eight APs deployed or in the facility. Um, that means 27 locations of, of measurement, which these ping tests everywhere. I don't know what the TX value is about, perhaps 100% TX power. Could be, could be the byte field. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully not the, um, the TX power. And then you see the, the values. And there are some retries, of course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, it's a warp deployment, right? Um, RF values in seconds. I have no idea what's, what that about. Perhaps if you know, or I used to know the DIAC tool, perhaps you can tell me afterwards, or all of us, what that about. Because my assumption is there's only a ping test and not the kind of measurement of, of RF things at all, right? And... After there's a map with AP locations and recommendations, and at the end, disclaimer at position X, Y, Z, whatever, there might be some problems with coverage because, um, yeah, we tested it, and please verify after you installed it. That's the reason why you're doing a P on a stick survey, right? Um, so I'm not here to, to blame someone or so. It's just a curious thing came to my desk. And um, perhaps it's a good related to the um, advisory board theme because there are still people doing these things, professional companies. And perhaps this was the right way 20 years ago, I don't know, because I'm, I'm far too young or too inexperienced, but um, perhaps you should do it another way today, even especially when the customer has the requirements of doing voice and all these modern stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Arjun Zup.